I bought this dresser from my neighbor for about $80. These antique dressers are so hard to find in my area, so even though it was in really rough shape, I just could not pass it up. And part of the work was done for me already. So I set a wet towel on the top of the dresser to finish removing the damaged veneer from the top. And while I waited for the water to soak into the veneer, I sanded the rest of the dresser with a hundred grit sandpaper. And I love when the old finish just sands off so easily like this. And that was definitely the case for this makeover. It's not always the case. I was able to sand most of it with the sander and the foam pads, but the details on the bottom and the crevices on the legs got sanded by hand. Then I sanded everything with 150 grit sandpaper and then 220 grit sandpaper to make everything nice and smooth. After all of that sanding was done, I finished removing the veneer on the top of the dresser by setting my hot iron on the wet towel, letting the heat and moisture soften the glue and make the veneer more pliable. And then I used a putty knife to finish getting the veneer off. If you've ever tried to remove veneer, you know it is not easy unless it is really loose already. But this is the easiest way that I have found to remove old damaged veneer. And side note, I don't remove veneer that is only chipped in a couple of places, but I do remove veneer that is lifting a lot and damaged in multiple places. All right, with all of that out of the way, I wiped a coat of water-based poly onto the dresser with this foam sponge. You might be able to notice that the top drawer is a different color than the rest. So I mixed some brown paint and water to kind of stain it but that didn't really work. So then I mixed some orange paint with some water and wiped that onto the drawer and voila, now it matches. And I've gotta say, I am pretty impressed with myself for getting it matched that well. So I sealed that top drawer again and then I whitewashed the entire dresser with some watered down white chalk paint and a lint free rag. I worked in small sections and wiped away the excess pretty quickly. The next day I applied three more coats of water-based poly to seal the wood and the whitewash. And then I put on new dark knobs to accent the dark stain that I had left in the details. And here is what it looks like now. What do you think of this new look? Let me know in the comments.